Hey, what's going on? It's Hobart. Welcome back to my channel. And so just recently I was in the market to get a new single serve coffee maker. I've had a Keurig in the past. I've had a couple Keurigs in the past and they work great until they don't. And they start getting all clogged up and then you try the descaling and the descaling doesn't work. And then that one or $200 Keurig is pretty much thrown in the trash. So I went online and went and looked at a bunch of them on Amazon. And of course I put my research hat on. You know me, anytime I wanna buy something, I wanna make sure I get the best product as possible for the best price, the best quality. So that's what I did and I came up with this guy right here. This is the Saboli Single Serve Coffee Maker model number CM-1177B. And I got this guy for around 60 bucks on Amazon and it's got a lot of really cool features that I wanna tell you about. First, let's find out what is in the box with this guy. So there's not really much that you get. Of course, you're gonna get the coffee maker. Uh, you've got your K-cup. I don't even know what you call this thing. The K-cup thing that has the needle inside of it. And then also you get your traditional coffee filter. Now this is a metal filter, which is pretty sweet. It's got a line in there to tell you where your max line is, which is great. So you just pour your coffee in, go to the max line, and now you've got a perfect cup of coffee. Now something else that I've noticed when I did my research is that not all of these single serve coffee makers come with a lid for the traditional coffee pod. And the reason that you want a lid is because while that water is going in there, it's filling up that screen. And the ones that don't have a lid, you get coffee grounds all out in your coffee and inside the coffee maker so if you don't get this one make sure that you get one that has a lid on top of it this one comes included with it it also comes with a removable drip tray here so you got a little plastic tray and a metal grate so for those extra little drips when you're all done with your coffee uh, that that will capture it you know what this thing drips a couple times but after a few seconds it doesn't really drip so I haven't really had to clean it out yet well after looking around on Amazon at all the different single serve coffee makers and there is a ton of them I kept coming back to the Saboli single serve coffee maker and I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right s-b-o-l-y how would you say it Saboli that's what I'm gonna call it for the video all right um, and there's a few reasons why one of them is the size it's a really small compact coffee maker so if you don't have a lot of space on your counter or your wife or your husband wants you to just reduce the amount of crap that's on your counter you can stick this in the corner and it really doesn't take up much space plus if you want to bring it to the office or even put it on your desk at work it's a perfect coffee maker you can plug in and in three minutes you've got a nice fresh hot cup of coffee just look at it right next to my Cuisinart here you can see this is a regular grind and brew coffee maker and this is the size of the Saboli so it's a lot smaller so I really 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 like the size and the Saboli single serve coffee maker also has automatic shutdown so after you push your button on the side and the brewer is finished brewing your coffee the coffee maker shuts down automatically and of course that helps prevent any accidents so this baby automatically turns off for you you also get two ways to brew with the Saboli single serve coffee Coffee maker you get your regular traditional coffee and you can also use any American K cups so anybody who makes them it doesn't have to be Keurig it could be any kind of coffee pod that is similar to a K cup any American K cup will work in the Cibole single serve coffee maker one of the main reasons that I got this particular model is because it has an auto cleaning feature so every 200 cups or two months the manufacturer recommends that you run some descaling liquid or vinegar through the system and the way that it works is you just put the vinegar solution in the back hit both buttons at the same time and it will cycle through and you just keep repeating that a few times every couple of months or every 200 cups but what I do is every once in a while I'll actually take some regular water or even some hot water and I'll run it through the system just because it makes me feel like I'm cleaning it out I'm not really sure if it does anything but I feel better about it. I'll do a demonstration of the auto cleaning feature a little bit later in the video. And besides doing the descaling every couple of months, the manufacturer also has a few other tips that they want you to follow. They say to use filtered water in the water well because it makes a much better tasting coffee and it leaves less minerals and crap inside your water tank in your water system. And when you're adding the coffee grounds to the traditional coffee pod screen filter thingy, make sure that you don't pass that max line. They give you that line there so that you can get the perfect cup of coffee. It's really easy, take the lid off, off, pour the coffee into the line and stick it in the coffee maker and you're ready to go now we've already talked about the cleaning instructions for every two months or every 200 cups of coffee to put some descaling liquid or vinegar through the coffee maker to keep it from clogging up and this is only supposed to be used in the USA and our USA plugs and that is the 110 to 120 volt so please if you're gonna be using this outside the US you're gonna need a converter well now that we've gone through all the features what's in the box how it works what do you say let's go ahead and brew a cup first thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna put my little drain down in here and then I'm gonna put my cup of coffee right here 
And then, of course, you're going to need to put your water in. Now, in the back, you've got a little door right here that you can open up. And in there is this little blue insert. And in the blue insert, it actually tells you the different size of coffee cups. So it goes from 6 ounce all the way up to 14 ounce. In my case, I always love to drink a big cup of coffee. So I fill it all the way up to that line, that very last line right there. So I'm going to put that in the back. And then I'm gonna pour my water in up to that line. All right, so once the water is in, uh, I got a choice. Am I gonna use a K cup or am I gonna use traditional coffee? In this case, today I'm gonna use a K cup. So this is how easy it is to switch. You open the front by pushing this button. I'm done. That, that's how quick it was. You take a K cup, you put it in, you close it up. And then on the side of the machine here, you've got either capsule or ground. Capsule or ground. So if you're going to choose capsule, which I'm going to today, I'm going to hit the capsule button and the light's going to light up and it's going to start to heat up the water. Now, when they say that this thing puts out coffee that is still piping hot after you put cream and sugar in it, they ain't lying. This is the hottest coffee I've ever had in my life. It beats the Cuisinart Grind and Brew. It beats any of the Keurigs I had as far as the temperature of coffee that comes out of this thing. It's incredible. So. This thing takes about three minutes to heat up and then it starts pouring your coffee out. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process real quick and uh, we'll come back when it starts brewing the coffee, all right? Alright, so I think it's about to come out any minute and the way you can tell is because you can actually hear the bubbling in the back of it and I wonder if my microphone if you can hear it. Let's see. That little teeny whine is the motor, the pump motor that's inside there. Overall, it's a very, very quiet coffee maker. It's the same quietness as any Keurig or other single serve coffee maker. So it doesn't have an unusually loud motor or anything like that. You do hear a little high pitched whine as it's going, but other than that, it's pretty quiet. Look at all that steam coming off of there. This coffee is incredibly hot. So if you're like me and you put cream and sugar in your coffee and you're always upset at after you do that, your coffee's not like, ooh, ooh, anymore. It's cool. It sometimes is even cold. This guy right here takes care of that problem altogether because when it's done, I can put my cream and sugar right out of the refrigerator with no problem and it's piping hot for hours in my travel mug. So there you go, that's as long as it takes. Of course, I sped up the heating up process. It takes about two to three minutes for it to heat up and then within 30 seconds, you've got a fresh cup of coffee and when you're all done, your Keurig at the top here, see it will automatic shut off as you can see totally shut off so you don't have to worry about it and then we'll push this button in here and you can take that out and put it in the sink now when it's time to clean like I said every 200 cups or every two months you get your descaling solution or your vinegar and basically pour it into the back of the coffee maker you hit both buttons on the side and it immediately starts flushing the system let me show you we'll take that put that down in this case I'm gonna use water now this does not heat it up, so you're going to need, immediately need to put your cup underneath there when you hit both buttons, otherwise you're going to have a mess on your hand. So I did find that out firsthand. It immediately comes out and just flushes through the system. So once you've got your water in the back, over on the side here, of course you've got your capsule and your ground buttons. All you have to do is hit both of them at the same time and it will start cleaning the system. So it just runs an entire tank through. And then after that, you can take it and you can put it right back in the back of there. I would probably put it in the sink, get you a nice fresh water. So if there's anything yucky in there, you don't put that back into the system. And it stops every few seconds in case you need to remove the cup in order to put more water up in the back and have time to be able to replace it again. It gives you a few seconds to do that before it starts back up again. And when it's all done, it's finished, you'll be able to hear that gurgling sound. Just go ahead and hit one of these buttons and it will turn off the automatic cleaning feature. And at that point, you can go ahead and put the solution 
suction back in the back and run another cycle until you feel like it's clean. All right, so what are my final thoughts on this guy? Well, I really like the Cibole single serve coffee maker. Why? Well, because it's able to do coffee in two different ways. If I want to go the lazy route and throw a K-cup in, I can. And if I want to go the cheap route or if I want some custom type of coffee, I can go the traditional coffee route and still use my Cibole coffee maker. So I really like that. Also, I'm a big fan of the size. I like how that it doesn't take up so much counter space. I know my wife loves that. And for those of you who need one for your desk or for at work, it doesn't take up much space. So it's very portable and it's perfect to basically take wherever you want to go. And in three minutes, you got yourself a nice cup of coffee. So the size is definitely a plus for sure. I also really like that they include a lid with the traditional coffee filter. Not all of them do on Amazon. So make sure you don't get one that doesn't. I've seen horror stories in the reviews of people that didn't have a lid and all the coffee grounds went down inside their coffee mug and inside the coffee maker. This one comes with a lid. So I really like that for sure. And one of my favorites is the auto clean feature. That's one of the main reasons I bought this guy in the first place is because this one includes the auto clean feature. I don't know about you, but in the past I've had my Keurigs clog up and the descaling stuff or the vinegar doesn't work. So with the auto clean feature, it allows me to clean a little bit more often. And like I said, I even put water through it just to keep it nice and clean. And if it goes bad, which it eventually will, at least I'm only throwing away a $60 single serve coffee maker instead of a one to $200 Keurig. Well, I appreciate you watching my videos as always. This time we're here in the kitchen. I love this coffee maker. I'm gonna go drink the cup that I made for you just a couple of minutes ago. It's actually my first cup of coffee for the day. I wanted to wait until I shot this video in order to make my cup of coffee and it is currently 4.15 in the afternoon. So that's how long I've been working on it before I even was to this point in the video. So I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee. Thank you so much. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you have any questions about anything about this coffee maker or anything at all, put it down in the comment section and I promise you, I'll go ahead and answer you. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day. See ya.